Lions Lions out of this tunnel today for the 201st time. Junior LeVar Arrington is an All-American here at Penn State. No surprise. Paterno has coached nine All-American backers at Linebacker U. Black shoes, white pants, blue jerseys. Name on the back of a jersey? Won't find it here. The uniform hasn't changed in nearly a quarter of a century. Official capacity at Beaver Stadium, 93,967. Every seat will be filled, so what else is new? Number two, Penn State plays host to number 17, Ohio State, live from Happy Valley. So settle back, everybody. It's going to be a great one at Happy Valley. Wins the coin flip. They defer. So they will kick it off because Penn State will take the ball first. And back deep, you see Kenny Watson alongside Larry Johnson. Kenny Stoltz of the Buckeyes with the ball on the tee and Joe Paterno. 50 years an assistant or a head coach here at Penn State. Stoltz hammers it deep. Picked up by Watson. 10, return right. Watson smashed out at the 21-yard Archilli starting lineup for the Penn State Nittany Lions. Joe Iorio there in the middle, a freshman, draws a start at center today for this offense. The wide receivers, Lynn Swan referred to them, Shafi Fields, Eddie Drummond, big play guys, and the starting quarterback, Kevin Thompson, the senior from Gaithersburg, Maryland. We will see Rashard Casey as this game progresses. Eric McCoo did not start last week because he too missed a class, so both these teams bench their starters for a series. Penn State a winner against Iowa. McCoo goes out to the flank. Thompson to throw it up to him on first down. McCoo's got it wide. Barry in a foot race. First down. Smashed out of bounds. But not until he reached the 41-yard line. To see how they're going to follow it. And Clemens goes with him. This is McCoo. Cut back off tackle. Huge hole. He's free. Foot race. It's McCoo. Cut from behind at the six-yard line by their Ohio State off defense. One that way, coming back. Jerry Berry misses the tackle in the hole. But watch James Cotton. He's chasing the second fastest man for Penn State. Thompson is the motion wide out. Play fake. Thompson rolling under pressure. The pass to Sam Elliott. Touchdown. Mike Saramelli, the junior from Allentown, Pennsylvania, puts the Nittany Lions on the board. What a great throw by Kevin Thompson. He had pressure in his face coming right at you here. Kevin Thompson fakes, off tackle, guy right in his face, throws it, hits Saramelli, and those fullbacks for Penn State. Referring to if he gets it. Instead, it is going to be Rambo from the 10-yard line. He'll be one out of bounds. Here is the young man out of Alabama, South Carolina, Courtney Brown. Ladies and gentlemen, watch him. He is so talented. Belisari snaps it off complete. First down. Had to get rid of it in a hurry, and he did. Kevin Hauser. Now for the Nittany Lions. The Buckeyes trying to run a snappy offense here. There is the set. Bob Jones steps in for the injured David Fleischauer. And... The linebackers, they don't get any better than this trio. Arrington, Brandon Short, the leader, and Mac Morrison, the first player Joe Paterno ever had for the state of Washington. Defensive backfield. Aksari Adams steps in. His first start. He replaces James Boyd out of the doghouse. Belisari rolls hard right. Won't get away from the big man. Fumble! And Penn State pounces on it. And the man we told you about, Courtney Brown, comes up huge. They have got to get a kiss. Courtney Brown right there, number 86, takes on the tight end, takes on the fullback, takes on the running back, takes on the tight end, takes on the quarterback, causes the fumble. That's pretty good. <laughs> You're thinking about defensive players for the high. Now it is third down. Shoppy Fields will come out of the slot to the right. Snap back outside Drummond and a great drill hit over there. A 39-yard attempt for Forney. Blocked. Another blocked field goal for the Buckeyes. Can the Ohio State offense do anything? Riley, nothing going. Kennedy, Jimmy Kennedy, the 16. Holmes being used as wide receiver. Bellasari can't pick anybody up, and now he 
does what he does as well as any quarterback in the country. The 40-yard line, 45, cut back midfield. What a great runner he is. To the Nittany Lions, 37. Darnell Sanders, got a touchdown and pass, and a tight end. Great throw to Randall Football. And an incomplete in this play. Scary Adams started for him, but Boyd comes in. Watch this. Throw. Here comes Boyd Bank. I think he had that catch. And over on that side. Belisari scrambles away from Courtney's side. Slams it to Rambo at the 30-yard line. Short of the first down. From the left hash. He's got it. What a good-looking kick that was by Stultz. And the Buckeyes. Kevin Thompson trots onto the field. Aaron Harris and Eric McCoo set in the eye. And now they go to that one back formation, which they like with Harris, and they use McCoo as an extra wide receiver. And the end around, part of their play package, choppy fields, look at big play, slips a tackle, and he is out to the 34 yard line. First down at 10. Thompson pulls back, drop it over the middle, and it's a Spinning Sam Prince second down. Now when the Buckeyes block a field goal and then kick one, pretty good special team. Uh, here's McCoo. Got the corner again. They cannot stop Eric McCoo. And they bring him in motion. So they use these backs as extra wide receivers. Going to go long downfield toward Drummond. One hand, couldn't hold on. Clements in pursuit for the Bucks. Here's the throw from the other angle. We should be able to see this. What is he doing with his left arm? Actually, Clemens grabs it. That's exactly what happened. Play fake. Casey on a bootleg, but he's cut off and forced back the other way. Here's what he does well, but the Buckeyes have him surrounded and out of bounds. It's a 38-yard attempt. From the right hash. No block this time. And Penn State regains its seven point lead. 10 to three. Time out. Four yard run, which led to a Buckeye field goal. This time he'll pull straight back, look for a receiver, and here he is, taking off with his legs, just like Gary said. And what a great block he gets. And he is. Get him in the game. Blitz him. Protection. Fires middle. Too high. Wide open, Darnell comes down in motion. Here is Wiley into the hole. Arrington is over on his side. Belisari at the shotgun. Fires in. Leads up on fields. McCoo looking for a hole. Got it again. Sprints to the outside. And this time, Berry does not miss. But not before McCoo made it. Be tough for Ohio State. Nobody run, ran the ball against them a year ago, and this year they can't see it, stop anybody from running the ball. You know Penn State watched the response. First down and 15, lack of concentration by Blick. Here's the handoff, McCoo. McCoo stretches the D, and to the right, and McCoo is out in the slot, coming to motion now. Harris, the lone back. Thompson fires high. Drummond first down. Defensively, first down and 10. And Work with a short field. Thompson in trouble. Diggs goes down on a great block to the end zone. Intercepted. Ahmed Plummer over the head catch in the end zone. And someone joins Diggs, who was on the blitz that time. Now can Belisari and the Bucks do anything with it? Two tight ends, and Jonathan Wells is stuck. That was last week against Purdue, and that's a bad sign. Oh, he's got Belisari. And now is accepting the Diggs challenge. Someone you can bet on that sideline says, listen, Niall Diggs has come to play. When will number 11 show up? And the way to show up your star players, bring them. One-on-one, -on -one, LeVar does the leap, a kind of a hurdle or a leapfrog, whatever you want to call it, and you're not going to run away from that guy. The LeVar leap, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Illinois will never forget it. And neither will Steve Belisari. Third down now. 15 yards to go. Belisari badly needs a big play. On the scramble, throws downfield, and the receiver tripped. There's the flag. There's the automatic first down. Rambo and the DB. But in the official's mind, the contact was enough to draw the flag. A great play that they learned to make because Belisari scrambled. For the Buckeyes.
shots on that previous play. Jonathan Wells blocked and no time as LeVar has come to the dance, ladies and gentlemen. Wells. Again. Courtney Brown, pressure up the middle. They drop off the screen. Jonathan Wells will do nothing, and the Buckeyes are forced to punt. So LeVar Arrington, 6'3", 242 pounds, a junior out of Pittsburgh. How good an athlete is LeVar Arrington? A 40-inch vertical leap. One of the best on the Penn State team. Timeout. Back in at quarterback. By the seat of Joe Paterno's pants. And he decides it's Casey time. And here comes McCoy. Sprints free again. He has rushed for better than 100 yards to the Buckeye 32-yard line. They have not been able to run the ball consistently on anyone. Great block on Diggs that time. Number 74 gets the block. Jordan Caruso gets it. And look it into the secondary. Oh, the motion man. And they'll use Harris as the lone back. And they're just pounding this Buckeye defense. Right. It's a 41-yarder. From the right hash, it's a fake. Fake field goal. First down, Matt Seneca, the holder with a fake. No wonder Joe Paul wanted a timeout. What a great pass. Over the coal fields of Western Pennsylvania. Buckeye through and through, though, ever since his playing days. Here comes the safety blitz, and McCoo is hitting the hole by Bush. Steps in motion now behind Casey on this third down. A little dump pass off to Harris, and the Buckeyes read it. So now a 39 yard attempt for Forney. And this one's on the money. Iowa, and it looks like he's continuing to bring LeVar in. There they are again. This time, second down and seven. Belisari slips free, and then Graham. On the linebacker right here. Yes, he does, and he takes him on pretty well, but watch, Eric will come off the block and pressure Belisari, and then from the outside, Kropakis comes in and cleans it up. Arrington switches to the left side to come again against the shotgun. Belisari not going to get away. I think you might see him the rest of the game. McCoo slips free. He goes for a guy who believes he's ready to lead a team. Casey, short drop, got McCoo and Clemens. He's just getting his start. Going without a huddle, blitz Clemens. Hits him on a release shot, he fields. Great pickup on the blitz. Dangerous to blitz this guy, though. Not going to get it away. And that time he is sacked by Cortland. Catch Butter. the ball. All 11 guys on the line of scrimmage. Pigeon the punter. Gets it off. Buckeyes let it bounce. And Boyd's got it. Inside the five yard line. I'm not sure that you shouldn't have one man back there to fair catch that ball. Yeah, exactly. Don't try to run a play, Ohio State. It would be interesting if Arrington can now. You know, you got to make it work. It's not you? bad on first down, but third down, it's very dangerous. Yeah. Ohio State has survived. Yeah, exactly. And uh, Penn State's lead is down to three. Remember, Joe Pa came in here a double digit favorite. Very unusual in this rivalry. And John Cooper and the Buckeyes have enjoyed great success. And the Buckeyes will go on the attack. They'll come out on the 20 yard line. The big question is, of course, the physical condition of Penn State quarterback Kevin Thompson, who was shaken up on that blitz by Niall Diggs. And uh, Lin Swan, what do we hear now about number 16, Kevin Thompson? Kevin Thompson has an injured right shoulder and is probably not coming back into this ball game. I did have a chance to run into his mother. She was able to get to the head trainer and he informed her just what that injury was. Also, John Cooper said he intends to try and run the ball more. Nobody can stop the blitz, but he thinks if he can run, he can sell his offense down. Well, let's see if they can run right here. Belisari, Wiley cuts through the hole, bounces off Kennedy. The shotgun look for Belisari. They move the pocket. They sprint him. He throws high, incomplete. Dean Witter, first half stats, Gary. Oh, it's kind of miserable for Ohio State. Look at this, 33 yards. Their wide receivers have one catch from their wide receiver. That's miserable. Total yards, 71. Penn State 
moving the ball up and down the field. They just can't put it in the end zone. Saramelli and McCoo are in the backfield, and here comes Eric McCoo, left side. Got daylight again. First down. So here's third down for Casey. Split back formation. Casey, middle of incomplete. And penalty interference is going to be called on Nicky. Casey, three-step drop, and he has got Brian Johnson inside the 25, right at the spot there, the freshman from Baltimore, Maryland. Casey. And Casey moves hard on the pocket. Got a wide-open fullback to the five-yard line. Mike Saramelli, the junior from Allentown, PA. Emerge as he gets more and more opportunities and more and more snaps. He's just too gifted an athlete. Saramelli, along with Cordell Mitchell, in the backfield for the Nittany Lions. First down and goal. Luke, the fullback, gives him an extra blocker. Play fake, here comes Casey, rolling in the zone. Got it. Six for the Nittany Lions. The bootleg by Richard Casey. And he's got it on the touchdown. Showing you what he does best. That's why he's the electric one. Time out. Nine. Now the shotgun up the middle, flushed out again by Courtney. And then cleaning up on the outside is Justin Krapakis, the defensive. It'll be a cleanup man in this situation. Coming through hard are the Grahams and the Arringtons. And waiting the Krapakis. Time out. Under pressure, and he gets off some boomers. Eddie Branch feels it at the 37-yard line. Middle wants a block, got it, and crosses midfield on the National Football League here. Now, Rashard Casey, now he happens to be from New Jersey, so he was remember that. First down and 10 for the Nittany Lions. He'll hand it off to Eric McCoo. McCoo on the slant. Still going free. Eric McCoo. Barry's got the angle and forces him out of bounds and saves the touchdown. McCoo's speed is too much. Watch Jason Ott. He's playing where the big cat played last year. Can't make the tackle. Talent makes a big difference in the ski. Right, Brent? I mean, yeah, you run the so same screen. You don't have the same talent. Third down. <laughs> Casey steps away from Bullard on the blitz. Moves with that quickness. Maneuvers the field. Hits Drummond. And it's fourth down inside the five-yard line. Attempt for 40. <laughs> Blocked. Another blocked field goal. That is two blocks. Nate Clements, number 20, crushed that one. On third down, Brown and Arrington in pursuit. Belisari dropped at the 13-yard line. Three and this guy run because remember, Belisari is a four-five guy. Here comes Arrington. He's four-five too, but he's six-five. That's all he needed. <laughs> Six now. Here comes Belisari back to the middle. Fires picked off. Boyd's got it in front of Germany. A slick interception by James Boyd, the junior from Chesapeake. Right side. Play action pass, another seven step drop, a real deep drop, throws it, gambles too much to a double covered guy. Poor read coming out from Saturday. Now on second down and long, Casey, short drop, drills it outside. Sam Crenshaw oh, broke his leg on the field. And that was a tough moment for yep. Fred. Fred Jr. went down. I know he's watching back in Columbus. We wish him the best. Fine young man. Here comes McCoo now for the Nittany Lions, and he's back. <laughs> Throwing out of it. Drops it off to McCoo in the middle of the formation. Gets past Barry and Bullard. And dances to the 19 for a first down. What a wonderful run. McCoo, you know Joe Paterno's on the sideline talking to Franny Ganter. And he's saying, all right, we're getting close to the fourth quarter. I want to keep my guy fresh. One of the things that Joe always likes about the, the third string back. quarterback took off. This is a 28-yarder. They're going to get another one? Got this one. Forney nails the field goal, and now the lead is 13. Timeout. For the 
most part, I like the college rules, but I tend to agree with you on that. Here's Wiley now. That's why he's got to hurry. Kirpakis, he gets away from him. Turns the corner, and Arrington brings him down. Either with his feet or his arm. Short's coming. Steps away from him. Nope. No first down. Defense holds. Jimmy Kennedy, whom Gary mentioned, the redshirt freshman from Yonkers, loses his head. No spread. Belisari, a one-hand play fake. Going to go Rambo in zone. Rambo can't get his hands on it because of the play by Anthony King. Belisari. Whoa. Graham coming through. He's got him at the 46-yard line. Outside linebacker Ronnie Graham, the sophomore from Pittsburgh. Joe Paul, legend himself. Now the first down here in Happy Valley. Here comes McCoo. Steps lively for Paterno down to the 36. Beat on Bourbon Street on January 4th at the BCS Championship game. Here comes McCoo, stretching out the defense now. He's got another one. Crosses midfield, and Eric McCoo, contendery of the game. Just more of the same. Stretch play to the outside. This Ohio State defense continues to be on the field. The quickness of the Penn State offense. And McCoo has got a few breathers. It's like coming down to 529. Mitchell leaps the defender. Throw it off. Clements let it bounce, and it's going to be down by Boyd right at the six yard line. Three right there in the middle, who came back for his senior year. Belisari deflected. Fox hit it. An well, illegal sub, and that uh, gave Belisari. Ooh, what a slam by Arrington. That was a great play. That wasn't a bad play. Belisari is going to decide he'd rather run down on kickoffs than play quarterback for Ohio State this year. Jeez. He's coached here for 50 years. And Belisari, tough youngster, comes back and down at the 30-yard line at number 18, wrapping him up on high that school play. in Pittsburgh, PA. The punishment continues. John Saunders, what's happening now with courage of Reggie Germany? He knows he's going to get hit. Reaches out for it. Actually drops the ball. Yeah, Penn State, 90 some thousand strong. Mitchell working on the clock. Stays in bounds. Short of the first down. As the seconds tick away. Let's announce our Chevrolet most valuable players of this game. Certainly no surprise. Niall Diggs for Ohio State and Eric McCoo of Penn State. McCoo with 214 yards rushing. Joe Paterno adds another W to his legendary career. Dashes off looking for John Cooper. Brandon Short, the ringleader of that defensive unit. Words exchanged between two good friends. Lynn Swan, take it away. Joe, congratulations. You, you, you tied Amos Alonzo stack <laughs> career record for I wins. Was, I wasn't thinking about that. Well, I know you never think of, I know you never think about those things, Joe, but this may have been, might have been the best defensive game your team's played this year. They were relentless they, throughout they, the they game. Were, uh, they played really well defensively. And in most cases, we play, played well offensively. We just wasted so many opportunities. We didn't do, do a very good job when we got in the red zone. But uh, overall, I thought we played really well. Field goal blocks, of course, you know, that's bad things. But uh, overall, I thought we played hard. A lot of enthusiasm. I thought it was a good football game. Kevin Thompson goes down. Rashard Casey goes in. Did you change anything for him? No, no, but they were blitzing us a little differently with... Casey and then they were with Thompson. They were more on the outside blitzes. So we had to cut some things out that ordinarily Casey would have. Coach, thank you very much. Thanks, Len. Good, good, good luck. Penn State, 23, Ohio State, 10. For Gary Daniels and Lynn Swan, I'm Brett Musburger. Stay tuned for the thrifty Carmelo postgame report.